Hello dear friends, it's uh, <coughs> in the middle of the night, almost, so it's better to have a cup of tea, but uh, without caffeine, so chamomile should work. I like the silky packaging, it sounds good. Anyway, not wasting time to do those, uh, to do those useless uh, songs. Oh, it's not respecting to put hot water on people's face or nice ladies' face. But uh, all these magazines right now, they are becoming so, <coughs> so empty. Only advertisements and uh, not much content in it, so it makes a good coaster at least. I'm looking for I'm looking for some ideas, <clears throat> some ideas online, so um, just <clears throat> Looking for some ideas online, and one thing I realize, and also I I search for other teachers' blog. One uh, a very experienced teacher, I think he he or she I forgot, had those wonderful class ideas, many ideas, and he made one sentence that really touched my heart. I think. It touches many, many teachers' heart, and uh, he said, "You never had too many class plans, even you have five hundred, or whichever number of hundreds, which never number. You are always short of ideas, and you always look for new ideas." And this seems so true. I I check my my own blog of uh, Haying's class plan and my Facebook uh, class plan and the pictures. Still, every day, every time before class, I'm running out of ideas. Isn't it funny? So today I. I saw one idea that I feel pretty cool. Uh, a tree. 
a tree with many, many designs. The good thing about this camera, it is noisy, but uh, let me see, it is noisy, but you can have a lot of uh, Hear those noise. It's quite annoying. I'm sorry for it. Dun, dun. Please do not watch my my video if you are looking for some some quiet, some <coughs> something that uh, that make you feel. Now I roughly have an idea. Where is my purple pen?
random design. Any design should be good. Do not give yourself too much restriction. Sometimes I'm thinking myself, I have so much difficulty to think of an idea. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm better than students, I just feel that uh, um, <clears throat> often time I feel sympathy for my student. I ask them to do one project. Sometimes myself, I cannot find the, the idea. Uh, and so, myself, I am lost. How can I ask students to be to to come out an idea within a very short time? Do let me try very quickly. This may not be a good idea because. Damage all my design, but uh, it's just a try, right? Doesn't hurt. It does not hurt. It's not a very good idea, at least. So I will not do this in class. At least it damage all my design. And On the other hand, you can just do some random color. This is green color. I'm running short of colors, so I only have these colors. This is a red section. This should be the green section. Continue with green section, orange section. Mm, that's enclosed, and we can do a green section again. Green section. The yellow section. And then we can do one more red section. Okay, let's try. See how it comes out. If we fail, it's okay. We just fail. If we do not fail, then we do not fail. Okay? No big deal. No big deal. Do not give yourself too much pressure. It's not the end of the world. You make it right, you make it right. You do not make it right, then you do not make it right. So what? Right? <coughs> so today I just suddenly come to a realization of one thing. This thing is that I realize I am so not good and being not good is actually my strength in the sense that uh, <coughs> maybe I will tell the story to, to explain my thoughts on it or make a story sometime later. Today I will also keep talking about it. <clears throat> so our strength is our weakness and our weakness is our strength. For example, <clears throat> I am not good at talking, I'm not a very rhetoric person and uh, I, my voice does not have authority and people do not listen to me. 
on the surface and in reality actually it is definitely a problem or um, a weakness but uh, I am just thinking maybe this is also a good thing a good thing that uh, <clears throat> because I'm not good and I can settle with being not good so what? I'm not good, then I'm not good. So that uh, I do not fight with others. And uh, I can accept the fact that I'm not good. Then people will feel less challenged to be with me because I'm not good. I do not form. Uh, a sense of pressure or competition, then it makes my life easier and makes other people's life easier. Well, not really make my life easier because being a mediocre is usually not a good thing. But uh, <clears throat> it's kind of favor this painting, but it's not important. Not important. Do not try to make everything too good. You will burn yourself by trying too hard. If not good, then let it be not good. And uh, you make people's life easier by being not good, right? I think my strength is that I make other people's life easy by being not good. It's not my intention to be not good, but, uh, but uh, it is just the fact that I'm not good. And, uh, <clears throat> and I'm not even trying to be not good, I'm just uh, being not good. And. Uh, and no pretentious. It's uh, being not good is actually a morality. It's, uh, it's a good. It has good moral value. It's a good morality because if you are too good, you are giving people a lot of pressure. And uh, right, we have already told, we have already discussed it. So I'm not even trying to be not good, and I'm just not good. So it's just naturally, naturally this, uh, I am talented in being not good, right? So same as some people are talented of being good at something, and my, my, my talent is being not good. And uh, this being not good makes other people's life easier and makes your life, therefore makes your life easier because people do not take you as an enemy, take you as a challenge, take you as a, as a big deal. Anyway, what a failure picture. It doesn't turn out as what I want, not at all. But I find a new, something new. And uh, Finding something new through mistake, through being not good, through being mediocre. So we should say, long live mediocre. We should, we should praise for being not the best.
I think this project, I will not do it because it does not turn out to be pretty. And one of the one of the thing which is not a value in art, but it's a value in class, in, is that you have to be to to make things viewable or make it pleasing. And this one, this result is not pleasing. It is learning. You can learn by yourself. You can learn. You can, but if you guide other people to make failure, doesn't make sense, right? At least you have to find something better. Some find something that uh, that is more presentable. And this one is not so presentable. This is not at all presentable. The, anyway, keep looking. Keep. Looking tears in the thunder is nice to remember. Not find an idea. I just cannot find an idea. I want to find an idea.